The town has been destroyed, everything really, streets and houses, government said. Hundreds of rivers in China start to overflow. This week's deluge sent torrents rushing downstream, overwhelming flood defenses and engulfing the town. The town has been destroyed. At least 150,000 people have died, making it the worst natural disaster to hit the country in almost 100 years. Homes were gutted by the rising waters, and cars now lie scattered like toys amid the debris. The waters filled a gravel quarry, triggering a landslide that collapsed several houses. Authorities rescued 1,700 people, many of them airlifted to safety. A friend of mine who lived in that area lost all of his clothes, his house, his car, everything, he told Unstoppable Weather. The western province of Henan reported at least 9,600 dead. The tragedy has raised widespread concerns that China authorities have not done enough to prepare for increasingly frequent bouts of extreme weather, driven by climate change. Between Sunday and Tuesday, an unusually static low-pressure zone dumped record levels of rainfall, with the worst affected areas battered by intense storms over Wednesday night. Some received as much as two months of rainfall in just 24 hours, China Meteorological Agency said. Tens of thousands of emergency services and at least 850 soldiers have been deployed to affected areas. Rescue operations continue, but have been hampered by extensive damage to infrastructure, with many roads damaged or impassable, phone networks down in several areas, and more than 100,000 people without power as of Tuesday evening.